I watched the fairy tale wedding. I watched the Oprah interview. I watched it all, all whilst cheering Harry and Meghan as they fought for their freedom, like a bird itching to fly out of its nest. But now I can't stand them. I don't like Meghan and Harry anymore. Let me tell you why. The internet's talking about it and so are we. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Let's rewind back to five years ago. 19th May 2018, a young, cheeky and lovable Prince Harry found himself a princess, albeit of a colour that the royal family weren't too fond of. Breaking the mould, Harry created the ultimate Disney love story. Boy meets girl, boy's family doesn't approve, boy marries her anyway, girl is treated horribly by the family, yet everyone lives happily ever after. Yada yada yada, you know the story. But despite the story being based in modern day Britain, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's love story was, and is till this day, faced with many obstacles. I wouldn't say that I was a Harry and Meghan fan to begin with, or a supporter. I was just more a supporter of their cause and what they stood for, about sticking it to the man. Harry and Meghan didn't want anything to do with the royals, and who can blame them when their delightful uncle Andrew roams freely and turns up at every family event like it's a kid's birthday party. They didn't want to be in the spotlight. Harry became sick of the media attention and in his own words didn't want history to repeat itself so they left. Giving up their royal duties and moving to the States must have been a heartbreaking ordeal for the duo. But then came a Netflix documentary, a tell-all book and headline after headline. But you know what, I'll forgive them for that because they're not in control of the media or the headlines printed in their name. But more recently, a life-threatening two-hour car chase where they fought for their lives as paparazzis hounded them on the streets of New York. Well, that's a whole other thing. What is going on? I'm exhausted. If this is a fairground ride, I want to get off. I'm bored and tired of hearing about Meghan and Harry. If the media aren't creating enough headlines for them, they're going out of their way to create even more. Now I get that there's a demand for this high profile couple and there's a lot of media attention around them, but what happened to them wanting a quiet life? Yes, they've got to earn a living somehow, but you know, surely there's other ways to go about it. To talk about your mother in a pretty disturbing way in a tell-all book is one thing, but then to go out of your way to recreate her tragic death through this two-hour car chase, that's a whole new level that they, you know, they've sunk to. The hunger for attention has reached new levels, and I fear that things could get worse for the couple if they're not careful. Now, just to be clear, I'm not a royalist. I don't go out of my way to support the British monarchy or what they stand for. Quite frankly, I think it's an outdated model that shouldn't exist in 21st century Britain. But I also respect those that support the royals and the value of tourism they bring to the country. As for Meghan and Harry, I'm done. Let me know your thoughts. Has your opinion of Meghan and Harry changed over time since they've been involved in all these new headlines? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.